Hey, it's Coolio if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the long run where we are playing a Tunic. You were just waiting for that, weren't you, Jewel? Hydration achieved. Last time... Also, I'm gonna save immediately for some reason. So last time we started our little adventure, we met Fox God. Uh, I'm gonna press all the, the incorrect buttons. And you can see up there, uh, in kind of the top middle, uh, the three bagels. At least that's what I'm calling them, the three bagels. Um, <laughs> And we have so far found one bagel. So now we just need to find the other two, and presumably we can release Fox God. Also, I'm going to save immediately again because I forget how to how the buttons work in this game. Bagels I mean our bagels have a hole in them. That doesn't necessarily mean that um, every sort of bagel has a hole in it. So I have pretty much completely forgotten where we are and where we're going. So let's uh, let's do something. Oops. This game is pretty much about exploration anyway. Like the unfortunate thing about this game is that it does not have any signposting. It doesn't tell you where what to do or where to go. Like kind of tells you what to do. It, it a absolutely doesn't tell you where to go. But we're not going to worry about it. If uh we can figure out where we're going, then great. If we can't figure out where we're going, then oh well. Still gotta figure out how to open those. There's also something that I was looking for. And I remember it's something that I was looking for in my original playthrough. We, we have come upon it before. The problem is, we didn't know yet what to do. I put in a nice number. I wonder what number that could be. And I gotta deal with that. But yeah, at the top of this pillar, there is one of those electric pillars, I guess. Don't really know what else to call, but it's the things that actually uh, convey energy. And I guess we're going to have to go through here. But if we can find a way back there, now we know what to do. Ow, 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 ow. That was a bad move. Let's just go in here. Whoa, geez. Hey, buddy.
Hmm. What's over here? Ooh. It's a coin. Coins are on page 20. Do we have page 20? No. But last time we put a coin in one of those wells. It seems, seems like the thing to do, right? Wishing wells? I don't know. Maybe it does something. It, it, oh, okay. We, we got kind of a flash out of it, so. It probably did something, but what? You're not very smart, are you? No. I completely forgot, Jewel. I'm sorry. I, I've had a lot going on lately, and it's hard to keep up with everything. Okay, I cannot run across those. Why did I even try? Oh, you actually made it through. This almost looks like something I could climb, but apparently not. I forgot if we've been here recently. Nope, that doesn't work. Oh, down here. Yeah, it would be cool. Um, and unfortunately, there are translators. Well, there's at least one translator online. Actually, the way that the language works is kind of fascinating. How does it work? You put the you put the runes in, and it gives you an interface to to do that. And then I need to not go back on the okay. Like you put the you like you click them on, you click the lines on, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna die. I mean, how were you expecting it to work, Jewel? Literally any method that you use to make a translator is going to be some amount of work. Your place in-game text files. But that, no, you don't replace the in-game text files. 
That's not actually breaking immersion. That's not good. Oh, what is this? Okay. Um, oh. It's, it's in our equipables. And it appears to use magic. So now we have pew pew lasers. All right. Using a translator isn't necessarily breaking immersion because it's not like actually interfering with the actual game. You don't have everything immediately translated. Anyway, let's go up these stairs and see what's going on. Uh, don't threaten spoiling the ending, Jewel. Even if it is you, I am going to ban you for that. Until the game is over. Well, there's another manual page here. Oh, and it's page 20. So we were right about putting coins in the well, and apparently, maybe if we put three, then we get two. If we put another three, then we get three. And four, we get four, or five, we get five. I don't know what we're getting, but at least some sort of indication. Joel, you do know I'm autistic, right? I cannot always read people. The temple, three keys. Let's talk about our three bagels. Room to tall. Checkpoint dead. Old burying ground. Also, maybe a little hint as to how the language works. Can't seem to interact with this door. Can we pray at it? Nope. We can go over here. Ah, those are just absolutely frozen solid. Use staff, maybe. Nope, just bounces off. Hmm. This place is kind of an aura to it. I'm probably going to die. Ooh, maybe secrets though? We do have a bomb. Oh. 
Oops. Totally going the not spooky big purple gateway. I mean, that sounds like a plan, but that depends on whether I can actually get there. The quarry. I mean, there's drilling equipment. Doesn't look like it's in great shape. Ooh. Yes, please. That is our first one for this bottle. Oh my goodness. Uh, I think our maximum health just dropped. Yeah, it definitely did. It definitely did. That's, uh, unfortunate. Oh, geez, sniper. Okay. I can at least get that. Hi, buddy. Oh, that's uh, that's a nasty uh, buster sword you have there. Hmm. Just gonna start running and hopefully I can survive. Oh my goodness, no. Well, that didn't work out. You know, I think those doodads are just gone. <laughs> Let's go look somewhere more peaceful for now. And in fact, I believe I know where there is a manual page, and that is right here. That was an extremely dangerous place. Oh. Table of contents, okay. Story, data management, beginning your adventure, game screen, control, stamina, items, increasing your power, death, something, hints and clues, something, survival tips, then maps after that, hidden secrets, and memo pages. A long time ago, da 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 civilization, da 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 holy cross, da 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 the power to defy death. Boneless Pitsu. Um Hey, how you doing? Uh this is Tunic. It is a game where we have this little Foxy Fox character. And we're trying to find the three bagels for the fox god, which will probably, probably, um, release them. Is probably the thing that we want to do. This is where we started. Just making sure that there isn't something here that I could now get with the sword. the dog or the food not really not really either they're more like colored hexagons uh, is there any secrets around here
I wonder if praying at one of those doors is going to open it someday. Manual page over there. Ah, back here. Nope, that still doesn't do anything. GPU lasers? No? Okay. Okay, you're just going to abscond, I guess. That's me wasting all of my magic. I forget what was over here. Oh, yes. It still, uh, still doesn't do anything. Still have no idea what that is. Yeah, that's still just. So refill our magic. And do we have enough doodads? We're missing three. All right. Still trying to find a way inside there. Like it's underneath the, the bell here. And I forget how to get there. Exactly. Oh, well, I honestly I should probably restock on bombs. And there was also that bottle which cost a thousand. I'm gonna need to stock up on money too. I need all of the doodads. You know, I wonder if, what does this go down to again? Beneath the well, right. You know, this might work. Nothing else we can do. A little bit of doodad grinding here. Where is our map? Our tomb. Frog's domain. Wait, did I skip it? 
Oh, here it is. Maybe we can find a way to get up to that chest, too. Let's let me see. Yes, I have the plus one bomb. I think that plus one bomb is actually... Um, handed out basically by the save statue. Oh yeah, that's there. Yeah, the more you use bombs, the more extra bombs that you'll get. And I think those are refreshed when you uh, go to a statue. Ah, here we go. That's 20 doodads, not bad. And there's those tentacle jerks. Yeah, I nicked a little bit there, but that's fine. Yeah, sometimes this game will just put um, hidden passages in interesting places. There is a chest over there. How do I get that? Aha! That's another one of those. Whatever those are. Effigy, apparently. I love that those can just kind of chain kill. That's fine, Jewel. That's the fact that you're here is much appreciated. Aha. I've already been here. Okay. Any other secrets that uh, we perhaps have overlooked previously? Maybe over here. No, we've already done that.
Mm. All right. And like, according to the map, there might be something interesting down there, but we don't have any way of getting down there is the thing. Aha! Ooh, all right. And then that's how we get this chest over here, too. Ah, we have another coin. We have three now. Well, we have two on hand, and then the one the one that I dropped last time. So that will probably give us something. Oh, I think this is where I was looking to go. Maybe. Yes. Let's pray at this thing. Well, that lit up something back here. I don't think there's anything new over there. Like the the thing that I'm wondering when it loads. There we go. The thing that I'm wondering is if I look at the map. Like there seems to be like if we go that way, there seems to be like a boss, but I don't remember there being a boss there. There is this path though. Ah, we get another coin. Uh, where are we on the map? Aha! So maybe that's what they're referring to with the question mark? Or maybe there's something else, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Let's go double check over here. Hey, buddy. Hmm. Nothing back here, really? Anything over here? Nope. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to start running there, but unfortunately... Ah, and that puts us back at the, uh... All right. I keep forgetting that is a valid path.
Okay, there was nothing else here. All right, well, let's uh, let's come out at the uh, the dark tomb here. I for I keep forgetting that's a path. I know I just said that, but I do keep forgetting that's a path. My memory kinda sucks. I don't know if you could tell. Now that buddy is gonna come out. I'm just gonna shoot you down. Hope that's okay. Oh yeah. I guess I could have locked on, couldn't I have? Now just how to get to the bridge. I was it over here? I don't think it was. It is down there. You're going to come out. I mean, as far as I know, there was no better way than this. Uh... Hey, buddy. Well, that worked pretty well. And then you're not going to move, so I'm just going to switch over to this. Just pew pew lasers. I got a card for it. Oh. Hey guys. I'm just, I'm just. I'm just going to keep going here. Maybe it does. Well, that was a preview. Oh, no. Maybe I don't want to come here. That's the same place. Hmm. Actually, I'm feeling a little adventurous. I think we can find something good over here. Also, I'm sure this is like the intended look at this place that we're supposed to get. 
Yeah, no, it's not going to do anything. It's not powered. Very cinematic. Oh. Yeah, this, uh, that's not going to work. Also, I don't think we died. Well, did we die here? I guess we died here. All right. I wonder if we can pray to this thing. Because it, it does look like... Okay, you... Nah, they they broke it. They broke it and I broke me. Nobody voted against me getting the thing. Well, it's awfully nice of you to have faith in me, I guess. I'll have faith in me too. I'll see if I can get to a statue before I take any amount of damage. Like a, a stiff breeze could kill me right now. Yeah. Well, I decided to take a risk and it didn't pay off. But we did see that one other switch that would also connect to the... Um, I really wish they wouldn't do that. Cause that picks up on uh, on the mic. It's the perks of living in an apartment, especially living right next to the uh, laundry room. Uh, you, you really don't need to hit the, um, you don't need to hint to hit the lint filter against the trash can to get all the lint out. If you really have that much of an aversion to like dust and lint and stuff, then just don't.
Hmm. This looks like an interesting place. What happens if I do this? Nope. That's these forest. I have an idea. And actually, we, we were almost at that idea when I got killed. Let's see if I can recover my corpse. We're pretty close, I think. I thought. Oh, there it is. We're going to take this teleporter. Noms have been created. I think this is where we want to go. The Ruined Atoll, yes. Um, what happens if I go over here? Oh, that's blocked off. Gotcha. Uh, I do have the doodads to increase my health. Four. And save. And onward to adventure. I know what these hooks are about. Surely it's not like a hook shot or something, is it? If you know, don't answer. Mushroom. Huh. All right, that's uh, the manual say. No, manual says nothing about that. I said, shows that there's another thing that exists that we just found but no idea what it is Hmm, locked door. 
Oh, these jerks. All right. Can't go there. Maybe you can go there. How do I get this chest? Can go over here. Open up the map a little. Crab battle. My knife was fine. Hmm. That leak over there, I'm sure that's not gonna cause some sort of problem. Fortunately, Foxy Fox does not roll natural ones. If he does, he doesn't do so on a continuous basis against the stupid crab. Hmm. A lot of obscurity around where we should be going right now. Ah. Let's go ahead and activate this. Alright, so that lit up that one statue over there. So I'm guessing our goal... Oh jeez, it also lit up these guys. Fortunately, one shot, one kill. Unfortunately, everything they dropped, they dropped down there. There we go. Find the weak spot and then attack. I like the fact that it's so old that so many people know it. I wish I could say the same about Zombocom. Because you can do anything at Zombocom. Okay, having two of these jerks is not great. Come on. I don't like that they can swipe at me and then I cannot do anything about them. Haha, -ha, double kill. Also, I don't know what's going on with that. But I can open this up. Don't know what Zombocom is. You can do anything at Zombocom. The only limit is yourself.
Yeah, I'll just leave him alone unless I have to. At, at some point in the near future, if you want to anyway, just go to zombo.com. Okay, y'all are coming at me. Jill, I would not be mentioning it if it, it had viruses in it. Okay, so that's another one of these. That lit up that path over there. And it also lit up... It's a little hard to see because it's our back is like... It's, uh, it's back is toward us. Oh. Um. I think we have caused some pollution. That's, that doesn't look healthy. I'm trying to figure out, there, there was a chest over there. No. Don't worry, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. But um, that glow looks a lot like the glow that was in the quarry. I think I wanna stay as far away from that as possible. Oh geez, yeah sure enough. Oh. I don't know what that was. That did not look friendly. Uh, I'll go with no, Jewel. Okay, that was a bad idea. Gotcha. Uh, get the PPU lasers. And mm, completely flub do those shots because level geometry. Well, we can get this chest. Which is a glass of wine. Also, it very much looks like when I turn this one on, it's just going to spill onto this plate. Is someone eating it? Yep. This is unfriendly. I am out of potion. And then behold the consequences of our actions. I don't know what's going on here, but uh, 
This still looks necessary, unfortunately. So apparently the one that we missed was supposed to be first. Because we've done a full loop now. Let's go ahead and refresh our potions. Right. I go over here. Nope. I guess this is a shop location. Okay. We have 500 doodads. Um, we still have three bombs because it uses our plus bombs first. Still kind of want this potion, but uh, we're only halfway there. I get over there. Lore with the skelly guy. Good question. All right, so we can put that ladder up here. Back around the other way. I think we were supposed to have gotten this one first. We're getting it last, but the important thing is that we're getting it. Now that's lit up. So now all four of them are lit up, so what does that mean? A fox decoy. This box. Money. Oh wait. Money. Yes, I can. There's there's the key. There's a cave here. Hmm. Before I come here, I want to see if I can get that key. I think should just be around here, right? I think. Mm 
maybe. Or maybe it's around here. Yeah, there we go. Can I get this chest? Not from here. Now let's see what is behind this door. Oh, I was just outside of that. And this chest. Another bottle fragment, and that gives us another bottle. And we have five. Eh. Aha! I guess there's some money is 25 of them. I get that chest. Okay, so let's go check out this cave. You're just going to wreck me as soon as I get down there. No? You going to give me a chance to sneak up behind you and just destroy you? Okay, I appreciate it. Interesting. So now we're here. But what does that mean? A lot of these hooks around here seems like an important detail. So it's going to completely ignore me until it's too late. I think we have a map for this area. Do we? Cartoon, Frog's Domain. Yeah, there we are. So we are indeed in the Frog's Domain. Oh, geez. I don't think this is the path that we can take right now. Well, maybe, Drew. It seems like if we're going to get such a thing, this is the most likely place for us to get it. This game might be mysterious, but it's not quite that subtle. All right, we've got our save point established. Just going to ignore those guys for now. That's a place of return.
Well, that thing looks important down there on the uh, on the altar. I don't think we're going to get that chest right now. I'm just chillaxing. Kara's just doing their job. I'm just doing my job. In a fox. Hmm. That was a little painful. And some more red berries. Some emergency health restore if we need it. if we can do a little sneaky sneak. And then while you're frozen, deal with you. Oh, that, uh, freeze you again. Oh, you, uh, you heard that, huh? You weren't going to die, but I had to do that, given the situation. That's a bunch of money, 100, 100 doodads. Well, the release for this gate is over there. At least I assume that's what that is. You know what, let's just take care of everything here. For good measure. Yeah, sure enough. Oh, geez. That is not what I meant to do. All the all of the magic pickups kind of scattered there, unfortunately. Well, that leads to a big golden gate. Also an attack up. Aha! And a letter. Oh, just leaves back here. All right.
Actually, since it does lead back there, I'm going to go ahead and uh, head back to the checkpoint. Refill my magic. I'm fortunate that this frog water doesn't hurt me. It does respawn them, but I can just kind of circumvent them. Oh. Already stolen. Because if we look back here, it's pretty early on in the manual here. Coveted in a forest temple, stolen to the top of the sky, and sealed at the root of wool. So we got the Forest Temple one. This must be the one that was stolen to the top of the sky. Uh, so whenever we get to the top of the sky, that's probably going to be the green one. There's a crack over here. I'll just uh, deal with that entire situation. I oh, got some bombs. Aha. That's going to let us go down here. And they're immediately going to tell that we're here. Oh, crap. Okay. At least get rid of some of them. There we go. That probably would have been a smarter move, Jewel, but uh, since when do I make smart moves? That was just explosive. Anyway, this is ours now. So what does it do? Uh, let's put it over here. Use magic. But now we can target the hooks. We couldn't target them before. That doesn't do anything. What about this? Oh. Well, look at what we got. And it looks like using this on hooks, at the very least, doesn't cost magic. Yeah, it was a little close to that. Oops. 
Pushing the wrong button definitely does use magic, though, so... That gives us a slew of new movement options. Actually. Later, nerd. Oops. Um. Can I hook on to? I can't hook on to the chest, but I can hook on to. Well, if I'm close enough to these tuning forks. Anyway, now, we, now that we have this, See if we can get to the central statue. Let's pray at it and see what happens. Oh. Okay, well, that didn't kill me. That's good. Aha! Okay. So I gotta be in the zap. So now we're here. It looks like it's a good thing that we, uh... We went for this first. Come on. Maybe actually target on it. There we go. So what is this? Well, I'm going to guess that this is a library. <laughs> yeah, sure enough. Oh, geez. Why am I not targeting this? Hello. Okay. So you're you're friendly. And you also have very poor um pathfinding. It's your deal. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so you only appear to move in cardinal directions. And you have a limit to how far you can go. Anyway. 
Okay, you won't go any farther than that. Oh, um... Another one of these heroes' tombs. And interesting, this is where the mushroom is. I wonder if I can make an offering here. No. I'm pushing the button, nothing is happening. I, well, not nothing is happening, I'm just getting a error sound. Still no idea what that is. There's a ladder over there. Actually, what happens if we go out the main the main entrance? Is there like or are these all just windows? What if there is like a main entrance here that maybe we can't see? I don't know. Sometimes I wonder if there might be like a hidden path or something. Big circular room. It looks like there's nothing here but the way down and the way up. It's like a diagram of like how these things work. So are these things manufactured here? Hmm. Well, that page. It's mapped to the cathedral. Legend says wearing this allows you to do something extraordinary. Also, I love the the coffee the coffee cup stains. Oh yeah, uh, the other side. Quarry, Eastern Vault, Less Garden, Tower, Town Rooms, Room to Tall. And then those other three areas. Oh, that's the warp system. Yeah, that, it's structured like the warp system because you, you got at the bottom there, you got the uh, starting area. And then you have all of the places where each warp goes, and then the middle one is the sword that just kind of floats there. Yeah, that's detailing the warp system. Also, there seems to be like an arrow heading off from the... Um, From the one that goes to the sword, which implies that it also goes somewhere else.
The door in the mountains. <laughs> Pouting fox. Ooh. This was are this what the cards do? Or what they're named anyway. The tincture is attack up, defense down. Bracer is defense up, stamina down. Muffling bell uh, apparently would decrease, uh, decrease detection range. I don't have to guess. Ladder echo times four. Oof. Um, broken sword is question mark. Fire and no hearts. Scavenger's mask appears to be important, possibly. Or is gem. That's in. That's in runic. Also, something something sixty seconds. A little, a little bit out of uh, outside of the context of the game, it looks like dipping something in water, and that has to be a reference to Star Tropics, right? Where you you dip the letter from Doctor C in water. And it reveals the code 747. But what do I need to dip in water here? Whatever it is, I need to do it for 60 seconds. So, power. Telepad. I already figured that one out. Hmm. I wonder if did someone craft this? Is this where all these things come from? Like, is this all this? These books are like for research for all of these things. Well, that lit all that up. Okay, and that that gives us this telepad here and that statue over there. There's also another manual page over here. I guess it's fitting that there would be a lot of manual pages um, in the library. That's page 38. Monastery, cavity, rooted ziggurat, gun, and a lore miasma. Also showing us all of the spots where uh, the darkness is. Cavities, I guess. Was that was that the name that you wanted to uh, to give to us, Jewel? Was cavity? Oh, Miasma. Oh, yeah, because there's just loads of it down there, isn't there? I guess the cavity is probably what the Miasma causes. And either way, if you don't, if you're not equipped for it, you don't want to be anywhere near that. Fleemer's friend. Well, now we know what the bots are called. And also Lost Echo. Which I guess are kind of echoes of self that have rebelled, I guess. Skull times four. This cell is extremely dangerous and best left alone. 
Even if you're feeling brave, only ghosts are permitted to enter the inner grounds. Hmm. Okay, and that's just uh, the hook again. So now let's go ahead and activate this. I don't know if I actually have to go through it in order to activate it. Or if I just need to actually power it. Hello. What if I can make an offering here? Nope. All right. Also, there's like another telepad over here. Where does this go? Whatever this place is, doesn't look like we can do a whole lot here right now. And that definitely seems like a door. I can try to bomb it, but I don't think that's actually going to do anything. Yeah, I know. This is a mystery for another day. Trying to go around here. Uh, I can definitely make an offering here, and I will. Let's see what these mushrooms do. MP to two. Yeah, all right. Um, I feel like getting these are probably going to be important, too. I can afford both, so no reason not to get both. Attack! Four! And defense! Four! Go ahead and save. Let's, let's keep climbing. What else are we going to do? Stolen to the top of the world. Well, this looks like the top of the world to me. That looks like someone who might have stolen it. Hello friends, shadow friends.
Also, I actually would probably have liked to have the magic wand for this. Let's see if I can equip it real quick. There we go. Because those friends are um, giving me magic power. Ow. Okay, half power down. Dang it. Out. Oh, geez. Oh, first try. First try. And look at that. Stolen to the top of the world. Everyone who voted yes, you voted correctly. Um, choose outcome. There we go. Not gonna lie, in my original playthrough, I've probably attempted that boss about 15 times and have not gotten it. And this, uh, this is about as far as I've made it in my original playthrough, so pretty much from this point on is going to be pretty much blind, but we'll see how that goes. Um, but the blind portion of this playthrough will begin after the break. Also, I forgot to take off my, there we go, there we go, after the break. I did do that first try and I absolutely was not expecting to do that first try. So that's pretty cool. But um, yeah, gotta take a little break, 10, 15 minutes. Um, Get some water, get some sun to drink, go to the bathroom, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. And then when we come back, I have no idea. That's, like I said, this is as far as I've practically made it through this game. So, I guess we'll see. We'll see in a bit.